Good morning, everyone. So today's video is going to be unusual. It's really unexpected. Um, I guess my brother decided he wanted to get a, try to get a S60R from an auction. It's an 07 with barely any damage on it. It seemed like he had a tiny bit of damage on the headlight and the bumper. And he's like, well, let's give it a try. So he played it today. Well, guess what? He got it. So we're going to have to travel two hours. Um, so we're going to have to try to go pick it up. It's supposedly it's run and drive. It's manual. So yeah. I'm gonna try to get as much footage of us picking it up and inspecting it when we get there as possible. So hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so we're here at the auction as you guys can see. I don't know if we can film here, but uh, first things first, we're gonna go and pay. So I'm gonna go and pay for the car and then we're gonna try to get it out and put it together to drive it home. So we paid for the vehicle at this location. We got our paperwork and stuff. I was told uh, the actual lot to pick up the car is about five miles. So we're going to go there right now and pick up the car there. So I'll show you guys the details there. Here it is. I'm going to go in depth later. I'm going to check the, uh, the oil and all that. Make sure it starts. I'll get it started and we'll go to the parking lot away from here because they don't really want us around here. And then we'll get it on the road. So I'm excited. We're going to, I just put the screws. I saw the bumper is not repairable. So I just put the screws, mounted it to the to the fenders front fenders and then i'm driving right now the car drives smooth the, the oil was the level was good the oil was clean so they changed it recently it's 113 and they said next oil change is 116 000 miles so they changed it really recently the car runs perfectly i started jump started it because obviously it was dead um as expected but man it shifts beautiful so nice anyways we're going to Fred Meyer parking lot right now um, I have my brother filming me driving with me uh, we're gonna stop there and I'm gonna make double check everything else make sure we're safe to take the trip because we're gonna be on the highway uh, with this we're in Eugene and I live in the Portland area so uh, we're gonna be driving for two hours I'm gonna double check all the fluids make sure everything's good I added some water to the coolant it was just a tiny bit low it wasn't really low it was just getting to the low line so i added it just in case and right now just the bolt failure light that's it so perfect the transmission the clutch feels good feels perfect see you there so now i'm at my parking lot i'm not in a rush i'm letting the car run right now uh to make sure the battery charges up but they put some zip ties here i'm gonna leave those i might add some more so the bumper stays i put some screws here the bumper is not repairable as you guys can see it's really bad the headlight I'm gonna try to connect it's daytime right now but I'm trying to get signal light on and it's I'm gonna make it home in during light anyways uh, put some screws here we're gonna throw the bumper away anyways uh, so yeah uh, to hold it up here this kind of gave me a little bit of trouble and I'm gonna do we're gonna do a delete on this but anyways I mounted that there the tires are like brand new the brakes are brand new the oil change is I changed the oil check the oil like I said it looks like really new so it's like they changed it within a thousand miles so yeah uh the car is drives awesome the clutch feels good everything feels awesome so uh, i'm gonna cut these off just to you know make it look nice and the previous owner left the, the license plate here uh and the plates are good until january 2021 so we're gonna drive with the plates so we're good we're safe we got insurance and everything so we're gonna make that trip i'm gonna double check everything like i said again make sure it's safe and then yeah we're gonna head home i'm really excited we're gonna do a build uh, we talked with my brother so we're gonna you know uh, document everything on our channel uh we're probably gonna shoot for 400 400 horsepower daily on this car so we're gonna put pretty much full bolt on so anyways we're gonna document everything on the channel what we do to this car first of all we're gonna clean it up repair it and then we'll do the mods so yeah stay tuned Baby wipes to wipe the windshield because it was had so much dust on it like I could barely see. It was all foamy. I connected all the wires, I found all the wires, and guess what? Turn signals, headlights, everything works. Yeah, the you know the glass is busted, but I don't care as long as it works mainly because I don't want to get pulled over for a broken headlight or not working headlight. Um yeah, everything looks safe. We're gonna wipe it down a little bit. Just you know, minor touch-ups so we have good visibility in the windshield. We got all the stickers off. <laughs> not to attract extra attention on the road and yeah we all set i'm gonna put the front uh, uh license plate up and we're gonna head out yeah 
God, this thing is so smooth. Like, look, I'm driving what, like 65 right now on the freeway. Look, I can let the car go, it's going straight. Doesn't shake, nothing. It's smooth as a bird. I am so excited. Like, you, if you can see my excitement, I was screaming almost <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's an awesome car. We got really lucky with this one. Somebody really took care of this car. Like everything is done. All the maintenance seems like it's done. So yeah, I can't wait to get home and find out more about it. But yeah, dig farther into it and we're gonna do a full detail inside, outside, gonna clean it and all that. So yeah. Hey guys, so we're home. <laughs> I took there, I took a, a impact driver, a bunch of tools. I should have grabbed like a some sockets and open end I mean I grabbed some sockets but open end wrenches I didn't grab it but I got some oil just in case some water um, because I mean I didn't know what was going on with this car but yeah I mean we're home we drove let me see let me start the car up so you guys can see what the mileage is I press the clutch in it's 113 and 500 miles now on it that we got at home we drove it for 130 miles so yeah i mean there's not really anything in this car that you could have done better after you it's been sitting for a while <laughs> than drive it on a freeway for a while so yeah um the radio works i don't want to turn it on because if it plays some sort of song they're gonna copyright me on youtube because of the rules anyways the ac blows cold everything works every button the all the speakers the the suspension controls everything works in this car like there's not a single light on the car uh that's like a fault light not even in a message like i connected everything not even a message so yeah i'm really really happy like there was for some bulbs but then i connected all the connectors and everything went fine so yeah i'm really happy uh there's no tears in the seats um let me shut the car off uh, let's see here let walk out oh boy <laughs> See, look, there, there's no tears. It's it's a little bit worn. Are we gonna do a leather cleaning and dash and everything? And we're gonna also put a uh, protectant on it all over the place, all over the car interior. So we're gonna do a full detail, most likely tomorrow. But yeah, this thing is looking sweet. Um, yeah, the crash bar, the foam part of the crash bar, they took it out. They didn't put it back on. Uh, but yeah, there's also what is this? I think this is from the bumper, from their lower piece. But yeah, we took the wiper things off the headlights. They were just in the way anyways. We're probably going to delete them. I don't want them on there. They keep breaking. That's the most thing that breaks on these cars. This looks in good condition, but yeah. So that's that. But yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm shocked this car got totaled. As you can see, the only damage on it is the bumper right here. Like they probably got underneath a bus or something. I don't really know because I mean, if you look underneath, there's no impact. It's just like right, right here mainly. Um, the headlight is busted. It's glass, obviously. I really like the glass. Just the weight reduction, not a good part, but it doesn't fog up. That's what I really like, like about this headlight. But it's busted, so we're gonna buy a new one. Everything works on a, on the headlight. The bumper obviously is torn. We're not, not even gonna repair. We're gonna buy a new one. Uh, but yeah, that's the only repair on this car. I mean, there's literally, I mean, on this side, besides when they ripped it out, there was the wiper and they ripped it out. They, that would cause that to rip. But yeah, we screwed it in anyways. Put the screws on the sides because we're gonna change it anyways. But yeah, look at this. Look how clean this is. I mean, even the oil, I can take it out for you guys. Look. Look how clean the oil is. The level was full, so they changed it within not even a thousand miles. They got in an accident and they, I guess, for some reason, totaled this car. Um, everything looks good. The tires, the brakes. Um, I'm going to look underneath too in a second. I don't know if it's going to be in this video. Probably most likely in this video. Uh, I'm going to do a full inspection underneath as well, see if there's any leaks. But as I can see right now, everything looks dry behind, in the front of the engine, underneath. Um, as you guys can see, I mean, it's dry so we'll see we'll put it on the ramps and we'll also check it on the ramps but yeah this car is awesome i'm kind of struggling to believe all this seriously look all the engine covers everything is on without any damage underneath the car 2007 car with engine cover pretty much in almost mint it's better condition than my 2014 is 
Wow, and it's dry too. Look, there's no signs of oil. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off right now and just see if it's actually dry under there. All right, so I got that off. Engine, engine cooler dry. There's some dirt on this. It seems like it was, it had some lubrication on it and the dirt got stuck to it. Might have been either. I don't know, I'll check the plugs and everything. Make sure it's not, not leaking. When it's not leaking, but you know, it's a good way to check. But anyways, yeah, everything is dry. The turbo area up there is perfectly dry. There's no oil signs or anything. Oil leaks. No water pump signs, leaks. Um, it looks like somebody changed the filter, didn't wipe it that good. But yeah, everything is clean. It looks like they scratched the control arm a little bit on the bottom. So either they flew in a ditch or something and they scratched it a little bit. But yeah, nothing really in frame rails, everything underneath there. I mean, everything is literally perfect. Um, there's no bends, subframe, no signs of impact, nothing. Transmit intercooler down there. Everything is intact. So the main damage really, all it was is just up here. That's it, headlight and bumper and we all, we'll, we're golden. And this is where the piece that's, that was in the trunk that I showed you earlier, there. So. This car is in pristine condition. I don't know if the video is gonna do it justice. The silver color, but literally there's, let's see here, one, is that a dent? Yeah, tiny dent right here. Everywhere else is perfect. Perfect here on this side. We're gonna vacuum it a little bit right now, but no dents on this side at all. So it's literally pristine condition almost. You can see one dent on one side of the car that's it wow uh, we got lucky on this one real lucky just that dent right there on the door everything else is in perfect condition i'm really happy how this this car is in condition it is in um i think we made a great choice by buying it um yeah and i'm gonna talk about the price in a second how much we got it for and all that but Tires, brakes are done, oil change is done, it's clear, it's brand new oil in it. Um, everything was, I'm gonna check and see if the timing belt has been done also, just to, for, you know, just for the heck of it, uh, because that's probably gonna be needed to be done soon. If, uh, if I'm not gonna see any sticker that the timing belt was done, I'm gonna check the timing belt tomorrow uh, myself. If it hasn't been done, I probably will be doing that soon. I'm checking to see if there's any time belt service sticker anywhere. There is not. Um, everything seems like it's original. So I'm going to inspect it tomorrow because usually 100,000 miles, that's when you kind of want to do this uh, timing service. Uh, and when I do the timing belt service, uh, as you guys saw in my previous um, uh, video, the S60R that we bought that we repaired, uh, the uh, mechanic special, I did a water pump timing belt service in that video. So if you guys want to check it out, go check it out. I'm gonna probably do that soon too. I'm gonna to inspect that belt just to make sure because if it's if it's a new belt, they just didn't put a sticker, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. But if I am gonna do it, I'm gonna do the water pump, everything, the whole kit with that. So yeah, um, I love this car. I'm telling you, I'm so stoked right now um, for the money that we paid for it. We actually paid for it, um, I think with the gas and everything, uh, the gas ended up getting it home. $3,200 so with the auction fees with everything uh, before the auction fees before everything is like 23 uh, but yeah 3200 bucks it's at home all we need is just a headlight and a bumper front bumper cover that's it and this car and this car is golden uh, and then that's when the modifications will start stay tuned give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel recommend my channel to your friends hope you guys enjoyed this video you know there's gonna be a lot more content on this vehicle especially because of purposely bought this car to make it a fast machine a daily we are want to daily it so we want to modify it to the maximum power that's going to be reliable you know to daily and to be just a fun car uh, so we're going to have a bunch of content on this car and we also got a bunch of parts uh, going to be ordering we ordered a couple of parts coming for the for the red car and then we also have uh, some more plans for that red car as well so we're going to be modifying this one and that one so yeah, you guys are going to have a bunch of content to, to watch. Hope you guys enjoy it. 
and as usual you know give this video a thumbs up again subscribe to the channel and as usual see you next time